I will say, Ms. Sherry, will you tell us about our application? Yes, ma'am, Madam Chair. <coughs> uh, we have a special request, a special exception request by Morgan Solar LLC for a large scale solar energy system in an agricultural zone district. It consists of 940.3 acres on a portion of 11 land parcels, which includes five landowners along Peach Road, Guest Road, Lawson Road, and Valdosta Highway 133 east of Morgan, Georgia. We do have a uh, solar ordinance, and that solar ordinance was a Adopted, I believe, in March of this year, or last year, 2022. Okay. It does have requirements that you have to meet. It has guidelines that you have to follow. Um, we got off a little bumpy start to the end with, but we came around to it, and uh, we have received quite a few maps papers, um, a lot of things from the applicant. So if you would like to look at those, you are welcome to after the meeting, not during the meeting at all. Pine Gate, the applicant has got some here on this board, and we have some here on this board. We follow the law of the zoning procedures law, and we have certain questions that we have to answer based off of the zoning procedures law that is from the Department of Community Affairs. One of those, that first question is whether the zoning proposal will permit a use that is suitable in view of the use and development of adjacent and nearby properties. Our answer is the proposed use is not suitable for the development in the area. The use will impact 23 neighboring properties. Whether the zoning proposal will adverse affect the existing use or usability of adjacent or nearby properties. According to the applicant submitted, applic according to the applicants submitted documentation there is 127.5 acres of jurisdictional wetlands and 10.75 of non-jurisdictional wetlands. A full set of erosion control plan has not been submitted to us <coughs> or to Georgia EPD. There is concern related to the maintenance after construction. There are 18 drainage basins as well as endangered species animals on the property. A mitigation plan has not been submitted for the removal or the return of these species. Whether the property to be affected by the zoning proposal has a reasonable economic use as currently zoned. The current zoning has a reasonable economic use for crops, pasture land, and or rural residents. Due to what the applicant submitted of the 952 acres proposed solar farm, 782 acres is considered prime farmland per the Federal Register or farmland of statewide importance. The applicant is proposing to clear 121.9 acres of timberland. However, you do have a pecan orchard that would be effective you have a pecan orchard that was not addressed that would affect in section one and two in the tree survey. It was left out. Whether the zoning proposal will result in a use which will or could cause an excessive or burdensome use of existing streets, transportation facilities, utilities, or schools. Staff believes there will be an excessive use on the existing road, especially on Peach Road, due to it being a dirt road during construction 
and on Yes Road, Lawson Road, due to them being a collector road that stretches from Lowndes County southwest into Brooks County. They are very busy roadways that provide a rural residential route from I-75 and Highway 122 west of Hayhara to Highway 133 east of Morven. Morven. Number five is if the local government has an adopted land use plan, whether the zoning proposal is in conformity with the policies and intent of the land use plan. Bruce County adopted their comprehensive plan just, uh, I believe it was in April. They are now operating under the 2027 comprehensive plan. And in the comprehensive plan and on the future character area map, the solar farm is not compliant with the objectives to protect farmland and the rural lifestyle of the agricultural district. Whether there are other existing or changing conditions affecting the use and development of the property which gives supportive <coughs> grounds for either approval or disapproval of the zoning ordinance. The Morbid Solar Project will not lead <coughs> to any permanent jobs working specifically for the Morbid Solar <coughs> Facility nor Pine Gate Renewables. There will not be any permanent jobs working for Morbid Solar nor Pine Gate in Brooks County, Georgia. From my understanding, the applicant has submitted that their company will be bringing in most of the workers that will be putting the panels in and doing the electrical work. Now, we've been asked also about noise. They did render a noise um, paper but I can tell you from what we've already seen and what we've got in Brooks County, the panels themselves do not make noise other than when they are tilting. And that's just a very short time of noise. However, the transformers and the inverters do make a buzzing sound 24-7. And according to the weather, some days are worse than others. We have heard it. We have talked to neighbors that are across the road from it. They have heard it. We have, I believe, we even have a recording of some of the noise that can be heard. And before we give our recommendation, if you don't mind them, I would like to call on Stephanie Williams, who is with the Development Authority, so she can give. The if he would come to the podium, mm -hmm. I would appreciate it. And I did forget to disclose because he's, he's here via the phone. We do have Jason Kemp, our city <coughs> our county attorney, uh, joining the meeting uh, via the telephone call. Just so everyone is aware.